We finally got our very first look at the Revontuli Coast map, which has a stunning 19 species, where a lot of them are new, although a lot of them are birds, so it is a very, very heavy bird map, and it is actually looking really good. They've done a lot of rework to the feathers, which makes even the old birds look pretty darn good as well but right here we have the black grouse which is one of the new species they have the, of upland fowl they've got capocale willow ptarmigan black grouse hazel grouse and rock ptarmigans in the game when this map drops also for the waterfowl we're looking into getting gold night dog tough dog eurasian teal eurasian widgeon tundra bean goose gray lake goose canada goose and mallard dog there's a few repeats there we're looking to get a uh, mountain hare as well as uh, predators. We're getting a raccoon dog, Eurasian lynx, brown bear, and uh, also on the map, white-tailed deer and moose. Nine teen species guys we didn't get to see all of them it does appear that all of the birds look pretty darn amazing this is the uh Capicale. and uh, just all in all it's really this might be the first map that i am legit gonna be sad not getting to be a part of the uh, creator beta but uh, hey i'll get to play it a bit later with you guys right there is also gonna be a new great one released on uh, the map when this drops my personal idea of what it could be is probably going to be the moose. Some people are saying bear, and uh, I, I think we're looking at a moose. We also have the whitetail, which already can be a great one. So this is going to be the first map where we can potentially find two great one species on the map at the same time. Of new features that is coming with this patch is the uh, waterfowl rework every species will have their own behavior they will fly differently react differently spook differently boat blind pop-up blind that floats we're getting the weapon wheel we're getting dolby atmos will be implemented as well the new 22 ammunition for the hornet which is the truncated i think it was called and um, unfortunately we're not looking at getting a new weapon with the release of this map though also of really big stuff coming with this map is a lot of bug fixes and quality of life improvements we have a full rework of the animal home ranges population reset of the following maps so Leighton, Medved, Tavarora, Yukon, Mexico, Crotchcolinas and Parque Fernando, Marksman and the Red Raptor reflex sides getting efficiency overhaul Dark Command Wheel has been updated, boat icons for water crossings, options to disable POI icons separately from map and HUD, borderless full screen mode. That is um, pretty big. I've been looking forward to that. Indications to let the user know if re reserve is playable or not uh, on the new game screen. Graphics and visual effects, overhaul of death camera movement and respawning, Apex Connect sign in options on Apex Flow, docs renaming, harvest check improvement, remove the alligator sound from SRP, animals would not appear static when drinking near shores, ranger skill not working with traditional bows, reset skill buttons will now remove the effect of skills from current game session, fixed an issue where the POI icons didn't appear on some structures after being bought. And this is just the ones that Ormi caught and did actually share with me. So I could provide this video to you guys. I'll leave a link to Ormi's channel down below. Please go and check him out. And um, all in all, I am really excited to see how this this reserve is gonna land it looks pretty nice i'm from scandinavia myself it's not as hilly here in denmark as it is in some part of this map obviously but all in all i am really excited i really do hope that the uh, bird hunting is gonna be able to carry this map and then uh, we even have the northern lights i don't know what are your thoughts on this map the species list and all that leave it in the comments down below